next up is Prolera, and we have Evan. Good afternoon, my name is Evan Heiner, and I'm the CEO and one of the co-founders of Prolera. And Prolera's mission is to help accounting firms improve their required continuing professional education to attract, develop, and retain the talent they need. And I'd like to introduce you to someone who is making the world a better place and who is also very special to me. Her name is Claire, and we've been together for nearly three years. She's a licensed certified public accountant, or CPA, and she loves her job because she gets to help nonprofit organizations working on great causes continue to build a better, happier world. And because she's a CPA, she is required to complete 40 hours of continuing professional education every year to keep her license. She also has to keep track of a number of confusing requirements and keep five years worth of records in case she's ever audited. And that means she's had to build a spreadsheet like this one. And yes, while she may be an accountant, and yes, she may like spreadsheets more than the average person, I can assure you that she doesn't like them that much. And she takes her um, learning and development very seriously. She wants to continue to be the best employee she can be and a great advisor to her, her clients. And she knows that her continuing professional education can be a great way to do that. And quickly, I want to shift gears and introduce another important character in our story, and that's you. So I'd like you to imagine that you were a training manager hired by an accounting firm that employs tens, hundreds, or thousands of employees like Claire. And those professionals that you are training are literally your firm's product. The work they do and the quality of the work they do directly influences the long-term success or failure of your company. And so logically, staffing issues make up a majority of your firm's top concerns, and you have an important role to help them solve that. And now, Claire's spreadsheet that we saw a few slides later, I want you to multiply that by 100 or even 1,000 in your mind. That's now part of your job, and it's a huge headache. Not only that, but you have to try to find or create the courses that your staff needs to continue to learn, the skills that are most important for your clients, and then you have to track every class that everyone takes, and when they took it, and then take all of that information and put it back into that huge spreadsheet. And while you spend between one and four thousand dollars every year on every employee for their continuing professional education, you have no way to create learning plans that help your staff focus on the skills and knowledge they need that's most important to your firm. And you have no way to measure or track how effective your training actually is in making them better. You simply lack the tools you need to do all of those things. And the reason for that is the last five to ten years in online learning and education technology is passed by the continuing professional education industry. Existing learning management systems are expensive, very hard to implement, and simply don't meet the unique needs of continuing professional education. And while there are license tracking uh, tools out in the market, they're not significantly easier to use than your big spreadsheet. And the solution that both Claire and you as a trading manager need is one simple application that brings together license tracking, individual learning plans, and a great library of continuing education courses to learn from. And that's Prolera. Prolera automates Claire's license tracking so with a quick glance, she can see exactly where she is and what she needs to focus on next. And for you as a training manager, you can just as easily see how everyone on your team is doing and then jump in to help anyone who might be falling behind. And you're able to arm your professionals like Claire with individual learning plans that help them learn the most important skills to them faster than ever. And Prolera has been built to all of the requirements of the National Accounting Board continuing professional education. So creating more courses and learning opportunities for your staff is as easy as um, uploading a video to YouTube. And so Claire can jump in, quickly find a great course to take, and complete it in a beautiful online classroom anytime, anywhere, and from any device that's best for her. And so now we have our, the heroes of our story. You've done an amazing job as a new training manager, helping take your firm to the next level, and you've received a promotion in record time. Claire, on the other hand, is equipped with new skills and knowledge that her clients are now using to keep building a better tomorrow. They're extremely happy with the work she's done, and they'll be with her firm for many years to come. And we're going to create thousands of stories like this. But, you know, our best days at work are the ones where we get to show Prolera to our potential customers and show them all the ways that Prolera will help them. And one quote I wanted to share comes from an office manager at a top 100 firm based in Portland, where she said she might literally cry tears of joy after we showed her a single feature that alone was going to save her weeks of tedious manual work every year. 
And so we launched uh, in, just over a month ago in October, and since then we've been moving really fast. We have teams of three firms piloting Prolera, um, and we're also in the final stages of deals with seven accounting firms who collectively represent 750 users. And to give you an idea of how quickly we're moving, this two-day-old slide is now out of date, and we're happy to announce that we closed our first full implementation yesterday morning and with one of the largest accounting firms in North Carolina. And they're very excited to begin rolling Prolera out to their teams over the next few weeks. And Prolera costs between $5 and $15 per user per month, depending upon the features and support they need. We also realize a 30 to 50% revenue share for every course sold on Prolera. And there are 750,000 CPAs in the United States, like Claire, who collectively spend $850 million every year on their continuing education. And we'll be reaching them primarily initially through direct sales targeted at mid-market accounting firms. As time goes on, we'll continue to, to increase our investments in inbound lead generation, such as highly targeted pay-per-click ads, as well as hosting webinars and events, and formalizing industry partnerships uh, that are very strategic with state societies and affiliate networks that firms uh, group into. And this is just the beginning. So what happens when we have tens of thousands of accountants tracking their licenses and learning on Prolera, and it's as easy to create a continuing education course as it is to upload a video to YouTube? Our vision can be described by a simple analogy. I can find out how to change the headlight on my car uh, that has a specific make, model, and year on a 10-minute video I can find on YouTube. And we want to bring that same resource to every professional in the country. And if we can do that, we can completely change the entire landscape of continuing professional education where they're learning to help their clients every single day and then not because it's something they're required to do. And once we prove the model in accounting, we can then expand to legal, medical, and the many other industries who collectively employ over 10 million licensed professionals and spend in excess of $10 billion every year on their continuing education. Polaris founding team has deep expertise in education, product development, sales, and marketing. We're backed up by a great engineering team and an, advisor, an advisory board of accounting and startup industry leaders. And a little more about the founding team. Jason, who I like to say is our resident tax nerd, is an experienced continuing professional education instructor. He has many years of sales and marketing experience in the tax industry. Gary was a college instructor for 25 years before moving to Seattle and spending the next 15 years developing enterprise software. And I myself ran product teams in Boeing and have been starting companies since I was in high school. Professionals like Claire touch almost every aspect of our daily lives, whether we realize it or not. And our mission is to help every single one of them learn more and grow faster so they can do a better job helping the millions of people and organizations make the world a little better in the process. We would love for you to join us to make that happen. Thank you. So, uh been working with uh, Evan and his team for the past few weeks, and it's been a fascinating journey. Uh, uh, I think before I met Evan, it would have been hard for me to believe that there is uh, a, a sustainable, good business to be built in continuing prof professional education, specifically for accountants. And uh, for the last few weeks of conversation with him and his team, uh, I've come to believe uh, in the same uh, vision that uh, Evan has. And um, the sort of things that we investigated during the during our due diligence was specifically the, the product and the market fit, and it's been amazing uh, that uh, they have found a an ignored uh, less uh, and a market that people haven't paid much attention to. Uh, they've had competitors, but uh, not well executed. So what's really impressed me is how well you've executed on the design and the implementation throughout. So. Uh, We've covered a bunch of things using the due diligence, and I want to touch upon uh, a few things that we uh, couldn't cover mostly because of the stage you guys were in. And the first question I have towards that is, uh, how are you going to build a, a viable moat that you can sustain during uh, the growth of your company? Uh, yeah, okay. so that's a, that's a great question. Um, the, the most, you know, basically the, the strongest moat that we have is in uh, what, what would we call like a, a data advantage, right? So once a firm or an organization moves all of their data into this tool, they would have to need a really compelling reason to move to something else. And so combining that with the fact that if we can get the marketplace going in the way that we hope it will, you also re you, uh, are then able to start getting the flywheel turning on some network effects that, that other marketplaces enjoy. So those are kind of the, the two fundamental pieces. 
Um, the third of which is the fact that the competitive landscape, if you look at it over the last 10 years, um, every new entrant has been bought by about one of three or four companies, and acquisitions comprise uh, approximately 95% of their cumulative product lines. So there is not a history of new entrants into the space. Um, if they did, the best thing we can do to build a sustainable moat is to move really fast, uh, get as many people on the platform, using us to track their data, keep it all together, and it's really hard for someone then to come under us and have a really compelling reason for them to move that all somewhere else. So there's one more uh, aspect which you mentioned in the past about uh, which I don't think you covered in your slides. Uh, is your is the relationship you're building with the state accounting boards yes. and the content that uh, you would like to host from them. So can you talk a little about, yeah. about that and how that can be a competitive advantage? Yes, absolutely. So um, each state and sometimes each large city has their own professional state society. And these are often preferred course providers for the firms and professionals that are using Prolera. Um, and this may not be surprising to anyone, uh, they, but they're live conferences, webinars, and other scheduled events are getting crushed. Slowly but surely, um, they're declining, and that is actually the staple of their business. Um, dues alone do not cover their costs, so they need that in order to survive. Um, so they are looking for a way to begin moving more of that into an online, on-demand, self-serve model, um, and they have not been successful in finding a platform that would accommodate that. So. Uh, with the Washington State Society and, and others that we've uh, gone through through that relationship are very interested in moving more of their courses onto our platform, which is great because that builds more value for everyone else using the platform, and that gets that flywheel turning, right, where you, that brings more people onto the into the ecosystem, more providers, and then more value cumulatively. So we're really excited about that, and then there's the fact that we also get access to their very large membership base, and we get to draft off the credibility and respect they have in the market. So, uh, one question that has uh, come up during our due diligence is uh, that your team is going to undergo a bit of a transition, and uh, so can you talk a little bit about the transition and how you plan to uh, sort of sail through that successfully? Sure. Um, so to give you a little clarity, our CTO, one of our co-founders, Gary, uh, he's an older gentleman. He's uh, in his mid-60s. He and his wife had planned to, uh, to take a long retirement trip. He decided that uh, starting next year um, would be when he would commence that effort. Um, so we wish him well on that. Um, but in terms of any risk associated with that, uh, we've been able to plan, plan it for a few months and make sure that everything is going to be smooth. He's going to continue to support us as an advisor. Uh, but more importantly, we have a great team behind him. Um, they've been doing a lot of the heavy lifting anyways. The product is really robust. It's in great shape. We don't have a ton of feature build-out we need to do to continue to, to sell. Um, so we have time to find that right person for the future. Thank you.